As you know, creating a profitable menu doesn't always mean using the most expensive cuts of meat. Today I'd like to explore with you our featured cut, the flank steak, and how it can truly add dollars to your bottom line. Okay, now we're going to work with the flank steak. Wonderful cut of meat. Just need, needs a little pre-work to be successful with this cut. Okay, so looking at the flanks, the way they come in a bag, five or six of them, uh, you can see that there is some silver skin up top here, pretty much nothing on the other side, and then towards the, the end here, you're going to have just a little bit of, uh, I guess, fat. There's no other way to say it, but you're going to want to trim that off. All right, so you're going to get in there, you're going to trim this back just a little bit, and then here you're going to just get underneath and take some of that silver skin off. Because that silver skin at no point is going to break down during marination. So we just want to take it off and remove it now. Now, I would say when you marinate this piece of meat, you know, unless there's a lot of enzymes in the marinade, if it's more of an acid-based marinade that you're using, you're going to probably want to let it go for at least a minimum of 12 hours to up to 24 hours in the marinade. You know, you take this piece of meat and marinate it for maybe uh, three hours. I don't really think you're going to get much penetration and it's still going to eat a little bit on the tough side. Uh, but for an a la carte setting, you're going to want to cut this into individual steaks. So you can just take it. What I like to do is cut it a little bit on a bias. Just like that. And what that's going to do is going to make a four ounce or five ounce piece of meat look a lot bigger than if you just cut it straight across. All right, because you cut that on that angle and it gives you a bigger plate coverage. Something that you want to think about. It's also going to cook a little bit quicker. Great, now that we've actually had this meat marinating for approximately 24 hours, I want to remove it from the marinade. Now this marinade has a decent amount of sugar in in it. Like I told you, it was more like a teriyaki. And I want to actually wipe some of this excess marinade off. It's already penetrated the meat, so it's not going to hurt it, but high heat and sugar really uh, don't work well together. Place it on like the hot, hottest surface on the grill. So this is going to go probably about two minutes. Turn it, 45 degree angle, another two minutes. And then we'll actually probably turn it over and then we'll move it off to a, a, a spot on the grill that's not as hot. Again, we talked about how the muscle fibers all run in one direction. They're, they're pretty big on this. So we want to make sure that when we've got this cooked, we let it rest and then we're going to carve it across the grain. So again, we've got them running in this direction. If you notice, it, it shrunk up a little bit. And then we're going to slice this. I like to slice it on a slight bias turn it towards the camera so you can see it and then slice it about a quarter inch to an eighth inch thick see again how that's like the perfect color all the way through from top to bottom right really pink just just in there nice medium the medium rare um, that that happens when you take it out of the refrigerator you let it uh, come up to room temperature and then you throw it on a hot grill and then you move it from that hot grill after you've seared the outside and then you keep it on a medium grill and, and finish cooking and then you let it rest too right There's a little bit of juice on the board but you don't see a lot of juices pouring out if I cut into this immediately after I took it out off the grill or out of an oven it's gonna lose all of its uh, blood and juices and you're gonna have a dry piece of meat so, like right here you see it's a great salad topper you just grill it slice it real uh, thin put it on a salad and you can marinate it with many different flavors it's got such a great base beef flavor but it takes on most most uh, flavors very well right here in the center you have the uh, teriyaki glazed flank steak works great in that uh, flavor profile but then over here fajitas you know skirt steaks use a lot Great piece of meat, but the flank's also another uh, alternative cut that you can use for fajitas. And then as a steak sandwich, um, eats phenomenal as a steak sandwich. If you found this information useful, you can be in touch with us in multiple ways. Visit our website at www.sterlingsilvermeats.com. By clicking the food service affiliates link, you can learn about recipes for these featured cuts.
brand and wait staff tools, promotions and more. Make sure your restaurant is enrolled in Signature Club, a rewards program allowing you to build points for you to earn free culinary items and apparel just by purchasing Sterling Silver Premium Meats. We are also available for you at our 800 number or by email. The Sterling Silver team will be happy to help with questions you may have. Sterling Silver Premium Meats, the medium for your culinary expression and your business success.